Hello everybody, today we're going to go through six linked characteristics by looking at a family tree. So pause the video here, try the question out and then continue on to see how I answer it. So this first question here, it's talking about, you know, suggest and explain in one sentence. But the thing is, those are people that actually struggle with this question. And the reason is, is that they haven't entirely made the link between, you know, learning content and then actually trying to apply it. Of course, we, you know, we've never been taught about this genetic disease, but that doesn't matter. What matters is this part here, that there's a lack of mature B lymphocytes. So now you think about, you know, the communicable diseases topic. And you think, well, OK, if there is a lack of B lymphocytes, what does that mean? And just state the obvious, you know, one symptom will be that they will get ill more easily, aka greater susceptibility to infection. Memorise that phrase, like, it's always in the mark scheme because it it's just sums up, you know, they're going to get ill a lot, but in a nicer way. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how you do that. Now, this question here, part two. I love this. This is one of the best questions that OCR's made, hands down. It's so good. And let me explain why. So, in this question here, it tells you, you know, write down conclusions about the location and the nature of the allele responsible for causing that disease. And then explain your conclusions. Here is what I like to do. Before I write down anything or, you know, I like to look at what I'm given. Then I annotate it as well. So let's go through my annotations. Let's use this. Okay, so I wrote down whether they're going to be healthy or diseased. How do I know they're healthy or diseased? Well, I look here to the key. If they're shaded, it means that they're diseased. Okay. Immediately, when I think about that, I'm like, okay, so all of them are just squares. What square? Oh. Not that one. <laughs> it's here. They're all males. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep a note of that. So the people who are affected are males and there are no females. Cool. Now I like to look at the start. You know, the mother and the father. Are they affected? Are they carriers? You know, they're both healthy. However, when you look at their offspring, okay, these three, what's really interesting is that you know, only one of the three children that they had is affected by it. And that child is a man. Now, let's look here. Five and six reproduce. To produce three offsprings, again, only males are affected. Hmm. So how is it that one and two and five and six are, you know, all four of them are healthy, but how can they produce offsprings? That have diseases. Da -da -da. Sex linked. It's sex linked. Basically, the female on the X chromosome is uh, is carrying you know, the the allele. So let's look at the answer here. I said the allele is recessive. What does recessive mean? It means that when um, it needs essentially like two copies for that characteristic to. Uh, manifest but when it comes to a male right we have x y y doesn't carry anything so if x is recessive so let's say i don't know lowercase a then that characteristic will be expressed because there is no capital a to cancel it out unlike with um females whereas xx there is a chance that this could be an A, capital A, and lowercase a, and in that sense, they won't get the disease. However, if it was both lowercase, then this is diseased. So, yeah. So, I said that it was recessive because healthy parents produce children with disease, as I've explained here and here. Then I said two and five, they're both mothers, are heterozygous. What does that mean? They're carriers of it. The thing is, I want this to get into your heads, guys. A man can't be a carrier in this case. Well, at all. Because 
again, let's go back to the facts, is X, Y. They can't be a carrier because they can only be affected because they only have one copy of the X chromosome. But with females, they can be carriers and they can be affected. Either one. But men cannot be carriers. Cool. So then I said, you know, this is sex linked as it's on the X chromosome and only males have the disease. That's it. Literally, it's so simple. Easy four marks. But it's just like, how do I do it? Well, first, you know, analyze the family tree that they've given you. Uh, annotate it to, you know, however makes you best understand it. This is how I best understand it. You, you might differ. And then... Literally, I want you to be so obvious. State all the obvious points. Imagine the examiners are dumb and you need to tell them because they won't know, right? You tell them that only males are affected. You might look at the diagram and be like, yeah, it's only males. Ugh, they're the problem. But the examiner might not know that. Of course they do, but we act like they don't, right? So write down that only males have the disease. Write down that the alleles are recessive. Write down that, you know, the mothers are heterozygous. You know, S say it. Just write down everything you can see and you know and explain it. Literally, the method to how to do this sort of question is that. Anywho, yeah, that is the end of today's episode. I want you to... um write down like the lessons you've learned from this uh from especially with this question here and then really try and implement it when you do exam questions and hopefully you'll like um, you'll see improvements and it will be much more clear in your head because the problem that people have is that oh i've got so many thoughts i don't know where like where to start but you just need to be a bit methodical you yeah? know start with the diagram and then move on so yeah Remember, the two most important exam technique tips are read the question first and state all the obvious points. Over to you. Try some questions and let me know how it goes.